In today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about my Etsy shop. I'm going to give you some great tips on how to get local sales and photos, how to take some great pictures. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I have another really busy day. I'm trying to get these orders out. I have a few orders that I'm working on on Etsy. I have to upload another machine embroidery video vlog. Uh, I'm going to be working on some hats. So just kind of, you can come along with me and see how busy things get. In case you are considering starting a machine embroidery business, this will kind of give you an idea of what things look like and what you might want to consider. Right now I'm working on some hats that the customer provided. These are very nice corduroy hats. So I'm always a little bit nervous. I don't want to mess up. So crossing fingers right here. But I'm going to talk a little bit about how to get local sales. And I love Facebook for this reason. So let me know how many Facebook groups you're in. If you run an embroidery business or even do embroidery yourself, you'll want to uh, join some of the Facebook groups. They have embroidery Facebook groups. Uh, for local business though, you can join your local Facebook community. I don't know if you know this, but so I live in Utah and we have several Facebook communities one of them being a mom's group. So every Monday, they will allow you to post about your business. And a lot of times I will share my mama sweatshirts, but also the key to that is taking amazing photos. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that in the video here shortly. Can you see me over there? <laughs> I'm also taping some videos and reels for Instagram. Here we go. So cute. Okay, I'm going to move this. I'm hating this lighting. I've got to move my setup, so I'll be right back. I have two more hats to do before I start on another project. So I'm going so I'm going to finish these ones and then I have another Etsy order that I need to get done. If you have any questions about Etsy, leave them in the com or leave me a comment and I will try to address those. I'm trying to think of any other helpful. I mean, Etsy is very competitive, but I think with embroidery, there's really not a lot of us out there that embroiders. Obviously, when you go there, you look and you're like, "Oh my gosh, everybody embroiders." But not not really. I think we still have um uh, we're above the edge is uh, we're uh... Okay, I really don't know what I was trying to say there but back to the Facebook groups so I have my mom group that I'm a part of and then also like I told you the local community if you want to start getting more local sales it's important to be involved in those groups and also do business with other small businesses as soon as you start uplifting other businesses you will see a growth in your own business basically the saying is as soon as you start shining your light on others, the light will shine right back on you. I know that probably sounds so cheesy to say, but even if you look on my Instagram, I try to make posts about other small businesses and just give shout outs because it, it I don't know, it has grown my business so much. Once you start referring businesses, they start referring you to other people, and then you just get really good quality customers. Because I've heard people talk about customers and these weird demands that people have, and I have the best customers. I have to brag about that. Okay, and think about this. The best customers come from referrals. I feel like I should make an entire video just... Um, dedicated to Facebook groups and how to get local sales. So I might just, you know, do a video on that. But right now I'm going to move on and I'm going to talk a little bit about taking pictures. But really quick, if you are enjoying this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and keep watching. Thank you. Good quality photos are really the only way to stand out 
on the social media and on the internet. So you'll want to get a daylight bulb wherever it is that you're taking pictures at. You can go to the grocery store and find a daylight bulb. You're going to want a clean background. So I have this framed wooden piece. I also have my desk right here that has like a granite finish on it. Also keep your lint roller right by you. You want to make sure to remove all of that lint. Look at how amazing that photo is. There is no filter on this photo. I think it's just the daylight lighting that is going to make all the difference. Another amazing tool that I have is Canva. This one I just overlaid on a pair of jeans in Canva and that is worth the software itself. I use that, well it's an app. I use that app every single day. And another tip that I want to add, oh my gosh, this is going to make me sound so snobby. Think of it as a bonus tip, but please clean your fingernails. Okay, please. I'm sorry. If you're going to have your hands in the photo, make sure that you have painted nails or even just clean them. I've seen people take pictures of their products with dirty nails, and I'm sorry, but that's all I can focus on is the dirty nails. talking a lot about Etsy and having a business on Etsy, an embroidery business on Etsy. Um, because I think, uh, so I always hear a lot of people say the fees are very high, but Etsy has changed their structure a little bit. For example, if somebody clicks on it from a link that you directly provided, then you're not charged a fee for that. They also take care of like your taxes so you don't have to worry about what tax to charge in whatever state because I have both I have a website and I have a I have a standalone website of my business where I usually have a, a lot of local um, business comes in Etsy is all over the United States and so I so I have experience with both ends and I'm telling you Etsy they do a lot of the stuff for you. I feel like the fees are kind of worth it. Okay, let me pull this off and then I'm going to go over some of the other stuff that I have. So, let's see. These ones. So here is another dog embroidered sweatshirt. very cute so I have those two and so right now I just have these three orders that are ready and I want to get these out today um oh I do got to show you one thing that I think is fun about Etsy is that you can have fun with with the shipping packaging and having cute cards so you know like the thank you so much um let's see here this packaging is so cute and this one is from pixie mellers so i want to give a shout out to her she's another local business in utah i'm gonna leave her link in the descriptions tab below but i thought these were really cute for christmas so i'm just going to wrap them up um another thing with etsy is they will, you just print your shipping labels from there. You can even request pickup so that the mailman actually comes to your front door rather than you just leaving them in your mailbox because I have problems with my mail guy sometimes. With He doesn't take my packages and he leaves them in my mailbox and then he puts new mail on top of that. And so I usually have to go that extra step and be like, pick it up. Just come to my front door and pick it up. And then I just stick them in these cellophane bags. This is one that is for a photographer. She's having a Christmas photo shoot. And so she's a local photographer to Utah. So I think that turned out so cute. And then it's got the thank you so much. And so I just put them in these cute bags and print the shipping label and get them in the mail. And then here is the other one. This is how I fold them really nice like this and then just slide them in the cellophane bag.
I still have these that you saw me turning inside out. I have to, there's like nine of these that I need to get embroidered. Um, I also have someone coming over to help me. After I stitch them, she helps me take the stabilizer off, irons them, folds them, so I'm not doing this all on my own. Okay, so I have a question that came in and it is about inventory. How much inventory do you keep on hand? So I'm going to show you. I just got this delivered. I'll just put it up here. So what I like to do is just keep on stock uh, sand color sweatshirts and black colored sweatshirts because it is hard to know what people want and also how I keep my turnaround time about like five to seven days. That allows me time to order the sweatshirts. I get them from SNS Activewear and they usually arrive in about two days. So if my turnaround time is five to seven days anyways. Two of that is getting the sweatshirts in and then the other two is to embroider it and get it out the door. So these ones came in and I just need to fold them and I put a name tag or a sticker on them to show what sizes they are. Right now it's the holidays, so it's really kind of hectic. I also have someone that comes and helps me sort through this to try to keep all of my inventory organized. Um, so that is all that I have for you guys today. Make sure that you hit the like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. And again, let me know if you have any questions. I hope you find success in your machine embroidery business, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.